All right, let's talk about emulsification today. But first, let us go over what an emulsion is. An emulsion is simply just a suspension, small droplets of liquid within another liquid in which the two don't mix. So it's essentially just insoluble. Your body demonstrates emulsification by the use of bile as it breaks down large masses of triglycerides in the watery environment of your digestive tract. All right, so who cares? Well, the emulsion of fats by bile allows for better digestion and therefore absorption of the triglycerides or fats in our diet. So to put it simply, without bile, you wouldn't digest or absorb any of the fats that you consume. And the immediate result of this would be you would have constant fatty diarrhea, which is uncomfortable for pretty much everyone. But more important, bile is an example of how digestion can be made more efficient. Remember that for our ancestors, being able to digest and absorb energy-rich macronutrients was essential to survival. Bile is a molecule that is created in the liver and released by the gallbladder into the small intestine. Bile contains water-loving and water-hating parts within its structure. When you eat foods that contain fat, the fat components travel to the small intestine to be digested and absorbed. Initially, because the fat is not soluble in the watery environment of the small intestines, you just have big fat globules floating around. This makes it hard for the fat digesting enzymes such as lipase to efficiently grab hold to the triglyceride molecules inside the fat globules. But the big fat globules get broken up into smaller pieces or droplets by being surrounded by bile. The hydrophobic parts of the bile point in towards the fat, while the hydrophilic ends face the water. This allows the fat droplets to be suspended in an aqueous mixture which in this case is the fluid within the small intestine. Once the fats are suspended in the aqueous environment of the small intestine by the bile, lipases can then digest the triglycerides by removing fatty acids from the glycerol backbone, creating free fatty acids and a monoglyceride for absorption. Emulsification helps lipases be more efficient by creating more surface area. The way they do this is by taking the big fat globules and breaking them into smaller fat droplets. If lipases could only attack the big fat globules, we would only absorb a small percentage of the fat that we ingest. So remember that anything we don't absorb ends up in our feces, hence the diarrhea from earlier. Alright, let's conduct an experiment that illustrates this process. The olive oil, in this case, represents dietary triglycerides. See how the oil does not mix with water. Now let's add some dish soap to the glass. The dish soap acts as an emulsifier like bile. The molecules are now broken up into smaller droplets due to the interaction between the soap and the oil. 